Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft 1.20 Hardcore Vanilla, other than having, you know, replay mod and shaders and stuff like that. Let's create a new world called definitely the first try on stream, on stre. I definitely didn't create a new world accidentally forget to set it to hardcore and have to redo this intro. That never happened. Mm -mm. Definitely not. So the goal here in this series is, it's a bit like Trinity Island actually, for those who remember back to that, but more like uh, Quadrinity land mass. Our goal is to beat the dragon, the wither, the elder guardian, and for the first time in a hardcore vanilla series of my own, the warden. So we'll see how this goes. I don't, I don't know, man. Here's the thing. If I die really early on, I'm going to keep it going. But I don't know if later on I'm going to get to the point where it's like Omega high stakes. You know, we're 10 episodes in or something. We've beaten the dragon. We've beaten the guardian. You know, we've done some of the, the mans, but then I die. Right. I don't know if at that point we'll just say, well, I failed the test. Right. I failed the test. Anyway, all right, let's get rolling into things here. I should probably go and grab myself a little bit of stone. We got to do the bare, the bare basics and stuff like that. So make sure to like the video for a new series. Help us get to our target goal of one like for the new series. One like equals one prayer for me to actually be successful. Although I do want to say... Can you imagine if I actually managed to make this all the way through to full success of beating, I assume the warden will probably end up being our final thing here, but can you imagine if I did it all the way through in the first world, in this world? Can you imagine if I epic gamered up that hard, bro? It'll also be good training if we ever have more uh, sessions with me and Tom doing the little, um, trying to speed run the game in server hardcore so you know it's good training it's good practice i was thinking about how can i get better for that and then i was like you know what why don't we just do new new version 1.20 we're hyped why am i not doing a series on this i've never actually gone and done the warden in hardcore seems like a a good time to do it it also seems like a great time for me to find a cherry forest biome and make a super kawaii house much like what I did in the snapshot video. Speaking of snapshot videos, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that I'm gonna just like completely forget most of the new things with 1.20. You know, we got armor trims, we got camels, we got bamboo rafts, and um, and cherry forests. And I'm like, you know, that's that, we're chilling, we're good. You know, it'd be a good idea in hardcore. Probably a good idea if we go and uh, get some wool so we can have a bed for the first night so that we can just not have to worry about the gigantic conundrum that we'll be trying to deal with skeletons before I've gotten a decent setup of like iron and having a shield at the very least and stuff like that. So that's possibly worth doing. I'm also trying to conserve my food a little bit. Gonna be playing like a little more cautious than I normally would be, right? If we were doing like just normal mode speed run doing random loot drops or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna take extra precautions to try to actually survive, right? Like, I might actually try to get full diamond armor before I even go fight the dragon, as overly cautious as that seems. So, it's just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose this and get set back like five episodes or, or more. Uh, skeletons give bones so you can get a dog. Ah, yes. That's a good reason for me to face skeletons before I've gotten any sort of protection whatsoever so that I can get a dog that will go throw itself in front of a skeleton and immediately no longer be with... Hey, that's a good start. Let's go, my mans. All right, I hope you guys got some good goods here. Pretty swick, dude. Pretty swick. You guys just, you just want me to have a dog for my hardcore series that definitely doesn't last any more than like five minutes? You just want to go through the heartbreak? Is that really what you want to do? Oh, hey, we have a bed here, at the very least. I, I, I should probably set my respawn point. That'd be important. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just going to take the bed. <laughs> Get wrecked, whoever lives here. 
Um, no, I'm checking furnaces. Yo, let's go. Hey, leather boots, dude. Your boy ain't gonna be falling into powdered snow in this series. No, he isn't, dude. I'm gonna be safe. Can you imagine if my hardcore series ended falling into snow? Oh, I better get the smithing table, right? Because I'm obviously gonna get some armor trims real early on and make my leather armor just look epic as frick. Epic as frick, dude. Nice kicks, thank you. Thank you so, so very much. I mean, I could, like, hang around this area, maybe, and just treat it like my home. Basically is. What's up, guys? My village now. I'm glad you guys have kept it in a, in a nice nice shape for me. Um, and now I will... I'll be here. I'll be here all uh, week. Possibly, actually, maybe by, you know, if I wanted to, say, plant some potatoes, perhaps. Do something like that. What if I did want to plant some potatoes? What if I did want to plant some potatoes? Well, I guess, actually, let me leave this here, because I'm going to need to get, like... I could... Uh, well, once I get some coal and stuff, then I'll get a torch, and it'll be all... It'll be all super-duper cool. And beetroot soup, dude? Heck yeah. I might as well take that, you know? And we also have some blue ice so I can get a basalt generator. If I'm going to be chilling here for a bit, if we're not speedrunning, I'll leave the golem be. Because I um, I have kindness in my heart, as opposed to Peter's a hut, who sees a golem and is just like, that thing must, it must be slain. His blood, bloodlust, the second that a golem comes into his sight, he's like, this, can't, this must cease to be. It can't, it can't be here. It's not okay. I'm not going to break the golem. As much as it would be nice to have a bucket, or a shield, or an iron pickaxe, or pretty much anything, really, I'm going to not, because I have empathy. Although I will take these cords into account, in case we want to come back here later. But, is this a little cave that I see? Hmm. Mary Pippin, thank you for the 200 bits. Time for Philza to send a baby zombie after the captain in his hardcore world. Philza would never do that. I saw Philza briefly. Um at the Twitch VidCon dinner thingamadonger, and Felza told me specifically that he would never send a baby zombie to kill me. And so that felt like a, that felt like a good sign for me to do something like this. So, um, Aberoni, thank you for gifting a sub. Very much appreciated. Grail Knight Monty, 29 months. Heyo King, haven't been to many stream lately, but hope you've been doing awesome. It's been pretty hype, dude. Can't complain. And Minecraft Queen, thank you for the uh, 13 months. Pretty cool. Pretty slick. You saw me eating on Twitter. I did actually eat. I ate food. Oh, wait, you're going to get... I've actually just made a terrible mistake by... I just nonchalantly walked by a mother polar bear <laughs> who is not amused by this. Uh, wouldn't that be something if that was my first death? <laughs> I just... <laughs> Destroyed by polar bear. That would that would be a new one. Hmm. Do I destroy a sheep? No, I'll leave you guys be, because like maybe I want to breed you for food and stuff like that. Um And then I hey, at least you know what? If the polar bear slayed me, at least my Coca-Cola sponsorship would still be intact. Okay, this is fricked up though. The fact that there's like all the caves that I'm finding here, they're all freaking watery. Which Pete would be a fan of. But I'm not Pete, otherwise that golem would be dead. I'm nice. How can you just put water in my caves like this? Well, let me do this, um, because we're actually potentially gonna need some torches here. So we're just I'm just trying to like lead things in in a very, very mellow, very safe. It's all about safety, okay? Now I'm not wearing a helmet yet, but ideally, if you wanna be safe, you gotta wear a helmet. Everywhere you go. Even inside of, like, the grocery store. You never know when a shopping cart is just going to run out of nowhere, hit, go off a launch ramp, and hit you in the head. And then all of a sudden, it's just, like, not good, right? And you wouldn't want that. Some of the hazards, dude. Some of the hazards of existing in real life. Or if you're my height, the shopping cart hits you and runs you over. You know? You wouldn't want that either. Presumably. Um, what grocery store am I going to? The Extreme Grocers, Inc. Sorry, bud. I just, you never know when you're going to eat a bit of food. I was thinking of grocery stores and stuff like that. 
Um, yo, is this actually something? Okay. Surely nothing bad would happen if I went down here without already having a shield on me. Surely there will simply be iron available right here that I can get and use in order to... Holy frick, that's triple zombies. I got this, boys. I got this, boys. I got this, boys. He's freaking done. He's freaking done, dude. They're freaking done. They don't know how to hang. Okay, there we go, bro. See? See? I deal with zombies. E oh! Hmm. It is tempting. It is tempting to do this. What if I actually want some, like, XP or something like that, you know? I just middle mouse click to try to sort my inventory out. <laughs> Turns out, not the play. Um, I would like to see what's in the other chest. I think my sounds are a little bit low. Yeah, we were, uh, we were sounded up for the dragon. Actually, like, for my safety, probably a good idea to make sure sounds are, like, on well, because otherwise I might get surprised in a bad way to where I get pooped on. Real badly. I can get a bow. Let's go. Oh, uh, no other side, boys. That's kind of that's kind of big sad, dude. It's kind of big sad. Thirteen is is definitely no other side. Hey, iron horse armor. You know, we could actually put a horse to use in this since we're not going for like, you know, the rando ludo and stuff. Do I really need the rotten flesh? I don't I don't think so. Name tag for the dog. Yeah, but we got cat as a disc, so like I don't think we need I don't think we need to get a dog if we've gotten cats. That's just my thoughts on the situation. Okay, what's uh, ridiculous here, though, is that uh, there's no iron in this cave. You know what we're going to do? We're going to dig down until we find iron in order to get ourselves sorted before we start hitting the open caves. Because if I hit open caves and I don't have some armor and I don't have, like, a shield, um, it will be the end of our hero's story. And we don't want that for ourselves. No, we do not. Oh, you think I should dig straight down? Dude, I'm actually tempted about this. I am actually tempted, but here's my play. Instead of digging straight down, what if I don't do that? What if instead I just dig a staircase? Then that would be epic plays. You know, I was thinking about when, when, <laughs> when in, when, when, like in the shower and thinking about, ah, should I start a 1.20 hardcore series? I'm like, are people gonna? Is someone gonna make a Reddit post about how Jardon has like way too many series again? Is this gonna be what happens? They're gonna be like, oh, Mister, he talks about he doesn't have too many series, and he goes and starts up a Minecraft 1.20 hardcore thing. Yeah, these are my shower thoughts. <laughs> how are people gonna judge me on the internet? That's that's what I think about on a very regular basis. That's my PR brain in action, overanalyzing every word that comes out of my mouth. Is this gonna present a problem because I said this word? Hmm, hopefully not. Um, anyway, but yeah, I was like, no, but at the same time, right, we've got Terraria's over now, Dawncraft just about winding down, so it felt like, you know, if we're dropping, not dropping, if we have two series that are winding down to replace them with one, seems okay. You know, it seems alright. And then people are gonna be like, yeah, but you just started Medieval Minecraft on the main channel. And I'll be like, well, that's a different channel, so it doesn't count because it's not this channel. Right? It only counts if it's the same channel. Clearly. Oh, you know what I've just realized, though? I actually can't stick around that village. I can't stick around that village because if I did, it would mean that I'm not making a kawaii house in a cherry forest farm. So, you know, that actually wouldn't be okay. Dang it, dude. Dang it. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, there's the, the... Here's the thing. I don't really... The, the thing with Tom, I don't necessarily consider a series in that you could watch any episode on its own without having watched the others, and that's kind of a difference there. So that's kind of like, it's a format. I think I've said that before. Um, so if something isn't contingent on prior episodes, 
then I don't kind of put it in the same bucket, if that makes any sense. Hey, we got some iron. I've never been so happy to see you before in my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, that said, I... Uh, a little behind the scenes uh, talk here. Just, I, you never... I don't know how consistent the series will be. Um... Because I think I've mentioned before, I was really surprised that Tom even brought up the idea because he doesn't regularly sit down at his computer for extended periods of time. And so I was really surprised that he like, wanted to do something. Granted, I was happy to do it, but it's very much like going to be based around his schedule, which um, changes from like hour to hour. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm doing, I'll do what I can, but ultimately... It's very much at the mercy of what he's doing. And so um, it's just, you know, there may be a few weeks stretch of nothing. And then maybe a few episodes will come out like pretty regularly. And then maybe it'll be a bit of nothing again. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, it's going to play out and stuff. But what I do know is that now we're going to be so safe to be able to head into open caves. And nothing is going to be able to stop us now. Because, man... We are freaking popping off now, dude. Absolutely geared up as frick. Azure, thank you for the 22 months. I did not realize my sub was still going in here. Haven't been able to catch a stream in a while. Well, it's summer now, so you can catch like every stream, every day, every time, ever. Dude, you know what? Okay. Had an idea. Had an idea. Speaking of like, you know, lots of content and stuff like that, I was kind of thinking... Because, like, I've I've historically, like, usually I publish everything video-wise on YouTube between, like, 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific time. But I'm thinking, you know, like, because if I have a short go up on the reaction channel, two stream VODs going up on the VOD channel, then a main channel video going up that day, like, what if I were to take advantage of overnight? What if I, like, released shorts at freaking... Uh, let me make a, should I make an iron pickaxe? Or should I do an iron axe for, hmm. Or should I do an iron sword? What should I do? What would be the best thing to stay alive here? Well, I guess we could do iron pickaxe just to have in case we run into diamonds or something like that. But anyway, yeah, so I accidentally scheduled a main channel short like uh, a week or two ago. I, instead of doing PM, I did AM. And that short ended up being like one of ten. <laughs> on on the recent videos and I was like initially I wake up in the morning I'm like frick I messed it up and then I look and I'm like wait a second is this just a it's probably just like coincidental and it's like one thing didn't cause the other but like it's one out of ten and I did it in the middle of the night like does that mean it would have been mega one out of ten if I did it during the day or does it mean that like because I did it in the middle of the night is this like this is a strategy here um so anyway, yeah, I'm I'm thinking I should try to experiment this more often. I don't know if it's like if it would be different for like a video versus a short. But I'm like, hmm, maybe I should maybe I should spread things out more like I don't know, even when it comes to freaking uh, stream vods or something like that. I mean, I, I could in theory just instead of doing the 10 a.m. 5 p.m. thing, which I thought was pretty spread out. What if I even like what if I even went gnarlier? What if I just spread even more? What if I just, what if we went 24 hours, bro? What if we just had 24 hour schedule? Yeah, we love Deep Slate Coal. This is definitely worth getting like stacks on stacks on stacks. Um, <laughs> the rarest block is the rarest block because you just can't see it. It's impossible to actually spot unless you're like right against it in a freaking cave. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, but anyway, no, it's, it's, um, I mean, I do, YouTube does tell you in analytics, like, what time your audience is on the site, and, you know, definitely, like, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. is the, that's the low times, it's when the audience is not really on the site, but, um, regardless, it could be, like, a strat, though, because, like, what if, what if you're just, you're making the content when, like, you're putting it out there when other people aren't putting it out there. That means other people probably thought about that because people thought of everything at this point. You know, posting YouTube videos, basically, like, it's like trading stocks. You have freaking people with billions of dollars trying to strategize, like, the best way to, uh, optimal way to optimize stuff like that. And you're like, holy frick, I'm out of my depth here. Um, but anyway, 
Hey, we are going to need some lapis for some trade ski doodles for sure, for sure. You think 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. is best? Hmm. Hmm. The thoughts. The strategies. The, th the, I don't know, dude. I don't know. But then YouTube also, like, they, they outright say the time of day that you upload your content has no bearing on the performance of the video. And, like, they're very adamant about that. And so, also, you're, like, going off of that, but I don't know if that's just, like, they say it because they don't want to create an environment where, you know, you feel like you could game the system or you have to f figure out ways to game the system and they try to steer away from that. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Things do be crazy, bro. Things do be crazy. I shouldn't be wasting the whole of my iron pickaxe in case I don't find any more iron. Why? Are we not finding more iron? This is this is wacky, dude. This is wacky. Hello, raider people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. There's more iron. Let's go. Um, yeah. Also, by the way, did I mention? I don't think I mentioned at the beginning of the video after the you know, liking that you should subscribe to Captain Sparkles too, so that you can stay tuned for video posts that, I don't know if we'll change the schedule of the VODs on this channel. I feel like seven hours apart is probably a good amount of spacing there, but as far as other things on other channels, because this channel is like the most consistent with when uploads go up. So, um, I don't know, but uh, if you want to stay tuned for more episodes of this series, as well as an ever-evolving upload schedule, make sure that you're subscribed and also follow twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles to watch me potentially die live on stream for everybody to see and laugh at and say Heh, we knew it give us our egg coins because we bet lots of money on this i was i was waiting for you to die so i could get my million egg coin payout <laughs> oh yeah maybe you'll get a twitch moment badge for it that would be something dude that would be something All right. Boom. When are we getting Captain Spa AI articles <laughs> for the 24 7 Captain Sparkles AI generated stream? Yeah, I just don't, I don't think that would be, uh, you know, really, uh, I don't know if that'd be a real watch, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I actually, I, I got. A message the other day, or not a day, like the other week or something. I never actually ended up responding to it because I was kind of like, I don't think this is gonna, I don't know this is gonna do anything. Like, what would I, how would I actually use this? And they were like, we're trying to do AI uh, uh, representations of streamers and stuff that you can use in your content. I'm like, how, how would I use that though? I don't like people aren't gonna watch if it's not actually me. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, this, this. Fake Captain Sparkles sure is fun to to watch and stuff and like that. I was like, I don't know, that's gonna be kind of weird. Um, so I never ended up replying. But you know, people are trying to do that, and I guarantee you there is going to be some big streamer person. I gotta clear my inventory, bro. There's gonna be some big. Wait, why did I I dump that? I can just do that. There's gonna be some big streamer person who ends up doing something like that with. You know, like, making themselves AI. It's going to be interesting to see what the response of that looks like. Kind of depends if they do it as, like, a funny gimmick for, like, one video. Like, I made myself an AI, and this is what happened. And it's like, oh, cool, okay. So it's just, like, you try to you try this thing out for content once. But, you know, there will eventually be someone who, like, tries it as, this is going to be a content format. And I'm like, I don't know how well that's going to work, you know? It'll be a little weird and unsettling and stuff like that. Um, no, but it, it'll obviously, like, it's a funny concept for just, like, <laughs> I talked to my own AI self, you know? This is what they said. Creeper. Ah, man. Creeper. Ah, man. Actually, that'd be the Try Hard Ninja AI voice. Thing. 
Uh, where are we, sir? Negative 23. Still have not run into a big cave. Still have not run into a big vein of iron. I don't know, like, what level should I just start to actually, like, strip mine? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's a tough call, everybody. It's a real tough call. I, I would... I would like to, if possible, find a cave now, just so I can spot more iron, because the ores, they are all glowy with complementary shaders, which is very pretty. The Rogue, thank you for the 32 months of subage. Much appreciated. Should look at e-counts. E-count for cave. Or you can look for, like, something generation cave count. I don't, I don't know, dude. There's, wait, hold on. I see, oh, wait, hold on. Six. There's six E's over there. I saw some E's. The E's are picking up in this direction. I'm gonna go here. I'm going here for the E's. Diagonal digging is always the most productive. Okie dokie. Surely we can get there. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing a big E count. Real big E count. Or should I just dig straight down? <laughs> it's usually the best way to, like, start a series is to dig straight down. And see if you can just, you know, dig straight into um, a minecart that has, like, diamonds and stuff like that. Um, it does seem like the E, the E's are, they're ticking up over here, dude. They're ticking up. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, wait, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, it's in this direction, 16, 17, yeah, 100%, yeah, 100%, 100%, we're on to something here, dude. This is an E with a, this is an E with a capital E. Or, alternatively, it's just my blocks on the ground, that's also possible, because <laughs> definitely my blocks on the ground are over there, but, um, come on, dude, we gotta find something. This is ridiculous. If I went into spectator mode, I feel like I'm just in a spot where there's zero caves. There's just no caves. Either that, or I'm perfectly managing to thread my way between every open cave everywhere. And it takes so long to mine because it's freaking all just deep slate. Maybe at this point, you know what? Maybe at this point I just abandoned ship. Go back up. Keep exploring because I do need to find a... Uh, I do need to go and find myself a cherry forest biome at some point. So this, and we'll find some, you know what? Inevitably, while we're trying to find the cherry forest biome, I will end up finding some big gigantic opening into the abyss below. And then we'll be able to utilize that. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Do I need any more coal? I don't think so. Do I need to sleep so that I can exit when it's daytime instead of getting uh, pricked up? It's nighttime, so we're good. Okie dokie. And we move. And we move. Where's all the mods? Eight? Um, well, you see what happened? We went through all eight mods. And that was it. Like, every every one of the eight mods got got eaten up. And then there was nothing more, no more mods. Um, so, we had to go. And that was that was that at the end of the day. Like, what can you do, right? What can you do? So, because the last episode we recorded was eight. And so I was like, oh, game over, dude. See you later. Bye-bye. It was fun. It was a fun series, though, while it lasted, you know. We found those eight mods. And now, you know what? Okay, here's the freaking deal. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going <sighs> to, I feel terrible about this. I truly feel terrible, but it will allow me to have a chest plate. God dang it. Am I really going to channel my inner, inner Peter Zahut here after I just said how unethical his behavior is? Oh, God. Oh, it's just... It feels bad, man. It feels bad, dude. dude well, okay, hold on. You know what? We'll let democracy decide. That's the ethical thing to do. What do... Uh, to Gollum. Slay, not slay. There we go. The poll is beginning. Cast your democratic vote. Let your voice be heard as a bastion of democracy. I let my chat 
let their voices be heard in everything that needs hearing. All right, what is it looking? Oh boy, Slay is looking like a pretty, pretty big dub at the moment here. It's not looking good for our neighborhood Gollum. Um, where is it? Oh boy, yeah, Gollum is uh, he's taking some L's here in the in the poll. Um, it's gonna be about nighttime. He's hoping he can get saved by the nighttime here, but Slay King. It's, um, even though the poll is not concluded, it is looking like things are probably not going to be working in favor of our... I was a little bit concerned for one second that he was going to one-hit KO me upon getting onto the roof of that house. <laughs> Which <laughs> would have been potentially a deserving end to our <laughs> first world. But instead, we only got three? I only have three freaking ingots from that? <sighs> Get out of the bed. Get out of my bed now. How much damage does a golem deal in hardcore? Too many. That's the, that's the answer. Too many. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of getting a bucket, I'm gonna do a chest plate. Watch, I'm gonna end up getting lit on fire, and I'll be like, should've made a bucket. Should've made a bucket. That would've been the way to go, but here we are instead. All right, at least we got a bed. The big question is, am I gonna bed the dragon? I think the answer is probably not, because it, with my luck, I would end up exploding myself, and that would, that would be not ideal. It wouldn't be the idealist of, of ideals of all time. I would have to, I would have to say, hey guys, how you doing? Gonna just get a little bit extra, you know, food skis over here. Remember the cows, everybody. Remember them. Remember them where they laid their lives down for us in a, in a quest to get to the cherry forest of our dreams. Thank you for your kind and generous gen generosity here. We salute you all a moment of silence. For the cows. Frick. All right, and we continue. If only we had a saddle, then we would be able to uh, ride a horse and not have to worry about our food situation. Ooh, it's a bit of a ravine there, but is it is it much of a ravine? Oh, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Hold on, this is where I could have used. A, a bucket. A bucket would have helped here. But what we're going to do is we're definitely going to go down here. We're going to find some iron, you know, peeking out of the abyss. And then we're going to use that iron in order to make said buckets. This is definitely a good idea. Oh, this does not go down as deep as I had thought it would. Okay, we're about to definitely encounter our first skeleton. Probably. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Should I, should I take out an indie man? Maybe I should. I should take out an indie man because what if he has a pearl? Like, that would be convenient for us. Hello, mate. I will not screw this up, I swear. I will not screw this up. I will not screw this up. Was he freaking just stuck over there? Oh. Hmm. Well, here comes the zombie. Here comes the zombie. Okay, Enderman, uh, do not teleport, okay? Don't teleport, that would be ideal. Please do not teleport, otherwise I will be in big pain. It will be quite painful. Yes, it will be big, big painful. He didn't drop Ender Pearl. What the frick, dude? Oh, but he's led me to a large cave. Oh, baby, that's a big cave ski right there, dude. That is a big cave ski doodle right there. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we. Oh, this little frick, dude. This little frick. No, I don't think so, bud. Not 
Nah, dude. No, I don't think so, bud. No, I don't think so, bud. No, I don't think so, bud. No, you think you can handle this? You can't handle the truth. All right, this is where I could use some shulker boxes, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just not going to worry about all this. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of uh, that. That. Um, I should make a bow, but that would be extra inventory slots. Anyway, all right, let's get this smelting up here. Maybe even split it in half. I feel like we don't need to conserve our coal too much at the moment. Offric. I hear a skelly. I hear a skelly. I'm worried. Skellies are our most uh, scary mans. They are the most scary man mans out here, dude. I'm also going to end up picking up the stuff that I just threw off here for sure. Okay. Uh, a quick look around. Where's our most accessible iron? I got a lot of accessible iron right over there in the midst of everybody. Everybody is protecting the iron. It's a freaking huge load of copper that I don't need. We got uh, more copper, copper. It's just copper, 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 and iron. Okay, well, I'll be able to make some pants though. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Big plays, big plays, big pants for days. There we go. Okay. I am a little, hey, you know what? While we still have some of this, get our gold boots ready for the nether whenever. I'm not worried about you guys. I'm not worried about you at all. I freaking picked up the egg again. Watch that spawn a chicken. It didn't. Okay. Do I just like, okay. It seems like there's some movement over here. Do I just YOLO? Do I YOLO up the skelly? No, hold on. Any blocks there? Leave that there. I'm going to make some more uh, torches real quick. Don't need this. Sorry, Gollum. R.I.P. in pieces. <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> Elegant. He's beauty, he's grace. Okay. It's just behind the wall there. Alright, we gotta be careful. We don't want anyone to flank us. Flanks would be bad. <laughs> We're chilling. Okay, so he's just on the other side of the wall, so we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Good, 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 good. Okay, there is. Is there any more iron? Like, oh, there's some more iron over there. Okay, do we just. I think we YOLO through this. We encounter our first skeleton. Here we go. Frick, he hit me. Got him. He's done. He didn't stand a chance. He got wrecked. I gotta be careful of that creeper. If that creeper just sneaks up on me, I don't know the shield reflexes. We're gonna have a bad time. Oh, there is a good bit of iron over there. Yeah. But is there a good bit? Oh, there's more skellies. Hold on. But that's like isolated and, and yeah, we can deal with that. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Never mind. I don't, I don't want that many. I do not want that many, actually. It's like a little bit too many. A little bit too many for my taste, actually. Um, there's like four in a, in a group. Well, we're baiting them out. We're baiting them out. Okay, that's fine. If we're splitting them from the group, then we got this. Oh, you little freak. He's not gonna die. Oh, he would not die. He would never. They can't see. <laughs> see? I'm stealth. I'm stealth. Like I said, they got they got nothing on me. They got nothing. We've got to have a full set of iron armor. And then then I can bring the pain. Nobody has ever died in hardcore once they've gotten a full set of iron armor. Let me tell you, you're invincible at that point, basically. Perfect. 
perfect, dude. All right. Maybe Zombie would like a word. Well, no, because Phil was clearly wearing, um, he was wearing leather armor when that happened. So that's why that was the issue. Like, clearly, if he wasn't wearing leather armor, then everything would have been fine. So that's the real thing is, is you just got to make sure that you are not wearing leather armor. You know what? In the interest of time. Let's go make ourselves a uh, couple more furnaces here, and then we can get food going, we can get the rest of the gold going, and we can have great success all around. Also, I should eat the beetroot. Quick. Here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. As much as I've been loving our leather boots, I think we are gonna go full iron here, and then if we ever do run into Pow Pow Snow, then at that point, we can swap on back to him. We'd always try to keep him on us, and then uh, over here, we're gonna get ourselves a big sword action going. There we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We can just get upgrades all around here. And then, you know, maybe even an ax. For good measure, perfect, huge plays, all right. Actually, why did I do that? No, I should just stick the rest of the coal, or uh, the beef over to here, get that smelting quicker. Okay, nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, dude, I'm gonna conquer this cave now. I'm gonna actually conquer the heck out of this thing and survive and live and thrive and never unalive. Okay, where do we, there was some uh, some iron over there. We want that, we want that. Let's go, let's go, let's vroom. We gonna get this, we gonna get this, we gonna get this. Here we go, here we go. We ready. Oh, miss me with that, miss me with that. Miss me with that, miss me with that. He's done, he's gone, can't hang. Let's go. Red book and inventory. Uh, it's just from another It's from another uh, thing for random loot drops that we're not uh, using here, but it's just using the same instance. There we go. Um, but it has. It doesn't like actually impact anything. It just tracks random loot drop tables and stuff like that when we're using it. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I can't be bothered to create a new instance um, <laughs> in order to yeah. not have it. Like, I can't be bothered to have one instance of fabric and all the same other mods and stuff like that. Um, and then not have the random loot drops and then do another instance and just have, although I could probably just duplicate an instance in multi-MC, to be fair. I could just probably duplicate an instance. Yeah, I could do that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm now starting to think about it all of a sudden. Hmm. Now all of a sudden, Born Norton, the uh, mod author, is like, yeah, why haven't you done this? You idiot. You could have done this ages ago. You only now just thought about duplicating the in instance in multi-MC? You fool. Not today, buddy. I am potentially one of these times gonna uh, do that with a creeper and not deploy my shield in time, and then that will spell the end of that particular world. But... Not today. Okay, I do want to potentially here. Let me take care of these mans here. God, it's a train, dude. Take care of these mans, and then we're gonna try to go for the endy man as well. Ow, he touched me. Now I'm gonna turn into a zombie. That's a new 1.20 feature. Zombie touch you, you turn into zombie. Oh god, another one's coming. I was about to deal with the Enderman. Don't do it. I'm telling you no. <sighs> Everything is good. I was, I kept it under control. There was no cause for concern there. 
No cause for concern at all. Everything is fine. I I have it totally, totally under control. It is all, every single one of the controls is underneath. Because I am, I've got it under control. That is me. I have fully got the control of every control that's ever existed. All the controls. Yes, sir. Whew. All your controls are belong to me. All right. You think I should boat the Endy Man? Is the Endy the Endy Man is still over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I did it on. I, I it was planned. I had to create some um, dramatic effects in order to keep people thinking there's a chance that they might get their egg coins, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't get their egg coins and they would be upset about the whole situation. Ah, oh, frick. You guys are just trying to stop me from freaking getting to the freaking Enderman. And I've had enough. Oh, God, that was a lot of creepers that just spawned over there. Hey, mate. Let's get you. Let's get you in the. Not me. Not. 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 I didn't mean to get in the boat. I want you to get in the boat. You. You get in the boat. Stop me getting in the boat. You get in the boat, you know? There we go. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Okay, the only issue is uh, if that skeleton shoots over here and breaks the boat, I'm going to have a pain on my hands. He is about to shoot over here, though. That's for sure. This little frick, dude. All right, I'm moving. Nope, nope, nope. I did see some more iron over there, but, um, but, uh, but, but, um, tis. but we're good. We're good. We're good. Everything is good. Leave me alone. Man, mobs just, like, keep spawning up here. What gives? Got mad levels, though. Got mad levels. 22 more iron. I think, I think we're good for this. I think we're good for this cave. Unless we want to go, like, keep exploring and try to find diamonds or something, like, pretty early on. But, uh, no, honestly, I'm thinking let's let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it moving, keep it grooving. And see if we can find ourselves a cherry wood biome. Um, but we can't make a bow. Yo, guess who didn't make a wob? This guy. <laughs> God, I'm good at video games. Oh, yeah, bucket's not a terrible idea. You're right about that one. Cool. You can even grab this right here. Uh, you little freaking ball sack. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go. I'll just get water up on the surface. Or from right here. That's what I thought, buddy. That's what I thought. Okay, um, yeah, let's just go back up. That was good. That was a productive little trip down underground. Um, everything went flawlessly with absolutely no cause for any concern anywhere. So, you love to see it. You really do. Cool. Cool. My inventory is filling up, though. It's a little annoying, but... It's no big deal. Oh, this freaking guy, really? You're gonna try to, like, trap me down here? Good luck, bud. Good luck. Others have tried. They've all failed. You're concerned for your egg coin? You're concerned for your egg coin because I'm absolutely popping off and shredding this right now with absolutely no risk of doom. That's why you're concerned for your egg coin, I'm assuming, right? Sorry, cows. It was necessary for my survival. All right, bro. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Or if I alternatively find another village that has a bunch of hay bales, that'd be pretty cool. Not having to worry about food for a little bit would be very, very nice. Am I still missing the cows from Trollcraft? Yes, Edgar and Steve. 
I miss them every single night. I think about them. That's all I can think about. I have a hard time getting to sleep because all I can think about is what happened with Edgar and Steve. It's one of my one of my biggest regrets in life. Truly. Truly is, dude. All right, this seems like a really nice, peaceful biome, though. Like, definitely a place where a village would spawn and have a productive society. Right? Or more cows. I'm going to sustain myself with cows here. This is a non-vegan Minecraft playthrough, apparently. Frick. Frick! That wasn't ethical! It's supposed to be quick! Sorry! I did see an article that the very first lab-grown meat was approved in the U.S., I think. There's a company that's doing uh, lab-grown chicken, I think, which is kind of, that's kind of cool. Oh, oh, this is a big old cave right here, bro. It's a big old cave that's also waterlogged, but oh my god. I kind of want to just check it out because it's like a chunky thing. Oh, it goes. Oh, it goes. It's a little, it's, it's probably a little bit scary because of it being a very long, dark tube with skeletons that have enchanted bows on them. You know, on second thought, Mr. Enchanted Bow over there is making me a little bit nervous. So I'm going to just keep boating for a little bit here. And um, we're going to prioritize the cherry. Because can you imagine if I wasn't able to make it to a cherry biome and I died before that? Can you imagine if I didn't live to see a cherry biome and I never got to see one again because now I'm dead? That would be sad. That would be very sad. It seems like a a good time to explore. Oh, hello, Major Giggles with 37 months. Hardcore the gentleman's way to play Minecraft Wine Time. It is. It is the, the gentleman's way to play the video games. That's for sure. Why does it feel like my fog is really short? One sec. Much better, much better. We we're there. We go. All right. It was looking. It was looking like exceptionally foggy there. Now we might have sacrificed our performance just a little bit, but we get we get to see more visible. You just tried to uh, <laughs> adjust past me uh, or skip past me adjusting settings. Yeah, you know. You can try to do that. You can try to do that if you uh, have the ability to like move into the future. That's really cool, and you should let me know how it works because I want a time machine too. That those are, time machines sound awesome, bro. They really sound super awesome. Um, is this a pink shirt? Yeah, dude, I'm wearing my pink shirt because I want to find the cherry biome, bro. This is my it's my good luck pink cherry biome shirt, obviously. Black Umbra, thank you for the three months. What a good way to relax. Hardcore Minecraft. Ye, dude. Ye, indeed. Yeah, you should you should set the speed of this live stream to two times. And then um, you'll get to go into the future. It's the little known, like, time machine hack. That if you just set the live... Oh, man, this cave is so cool. If you just set the live stream to 2x speed... You go to the future. Um, I don't know why nobody figured that out other than me, but I'm kind of spoiling big, big secrets right now. Big industry secrets. And my inventory is just full, which is a little bit... I guess I can just throw out the stone hoe. Like, do I really need it? Probably not. Um, but, oh boy, vertigo. Yeah, there's some vertigo down there. Let me just check. Let me just check. This thing is cool. It's cool, though. And what if there's... Uh, it doesn't go super deep for diamonds. And I'm not seeing a lot of... Oh. Oh, did I just... I just got an enderman angry from down there, frick! Not today, bud. Not today. 
He's somewhere. He's somewhere. Where is he? This little, this little frick is about to knock me into the ravine. I swear. Ah. <laughs> uh. God dang it, this guy is gonna show up. It like, once I've gotten comfortable, he's gonna chase me to the ends of the earth. That's the only way that this happens. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be like the Iron Golem in all the mods, man. Okay, frick that cave. Frick that cave. We got an angry Enderman on loose. It is not worth. My biome! I told you the shirt! Look! Wait, look. Hold on. Do a color color comparison. Color comparison right here. Look at the... Look! Look at the trees. Look at me's. Look at the trees, and then look at, at the me. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect color harmony. Exactly. Oh my god. Wait, is it a freaking, like, floating cherry... Island Donger? Oh, no, I thought it was fully floating. I was gonna be like, I'm gonna make the fully floating cherry island my home, but I think it's attached over there, but anyway. Yeah, exactly, you can't even tell where the shirt starts. It's color coordination at its finest. Did you know there's a new quality content drop on June 29th at qualitycontent.com? Oh my god, there's a pillager outpost in the cherry forest. Oh, frick. Uh, okay. Oh, we're gonna have a challenge on our hands here. Also, I gotta cross this. I gotta cross this in order to make it over. I gotta cross the Grand Canyon. I'm about to make a suspension bridge. I am about to make a suspension bridge over to my cherry forest. Cause I'm not, I'm not going down and then back up, bro. We use technology and modern engineering and not using slabs. I should have used slabs. Why didn't I use slabs? That was dumb. Hold on, let me convert everything. I should have held on to more cobblestone, but yeah. Any oh frick, my inventory is full. What do I not need? Uh, what I don't need is this because I could do that and smelt it up and then everything is good. Oh god, this is gonna be the end of it comes back, but it's fine. I'll fall into water, right? Right? I'm gonna fall into gonna fall into water. Definitely. Definitely gonna fall into water. By the time I'm done with this bridge, clearly it's going to have been faster to just you know. Um uh, jump down and then go across. But this way I can I can go back and forth pre-elytra. Um, and it'll be super cool. And look, look at what we're doing. We're even, like, angling the bridge up. You know? I didn't mean to put that there, right? I didn't mean to do that. Because we're gonna do this, right? And then we just, like, staircase the bridge. Yeah, dude. And this is architecture, bro. This is freaking architecture at its finest. Nope. And then, probably just like connect out from here. Connect out from here, frick. False. And then, here we go. Heck yeah, and then we bed down, bed down, bed down. Wonderful build, 11 out of 10. Thank you, oh yeah, and then I, ah, oh, but I have to cherry wood it up. Now that I've gotten to the cherry wood, I suppose I do. Look at my beautiful bridge though, man. I will need to add cherry and accent and all that stuff and fanciness, but anyway. Anyway, we don't have the cherry wood yet. We need to get the cherry wood in order to do that. I'm gonna get so much cherry wood, but then I'm gonna re-rack my trees because this is very, it's very important that we re-rack our trees here in the cherry biome. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. And we'll have this pillager outpost on the horizon that we're gonna be able to conquer and come. Oh my God, look at the, look at the cherry leaves just 
falling down. It's peaceful. It's so peaceful. Okay, this one's kind of like a straggler that's far out. So if we're going to chop one, we'll do it over here so that we're not like taking things down like in the middle of the forest. Then we can replant. Don't worry, we can replant and stuff like that. All right, go George Washington on those trees. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I will do. As we all know, that is a very, very big historical fact that George Washington had a, a, a strong like dislike. It was really weird. No one actually knew why he disliked cherry trees so much, but if he saw one, he was just filled with a gigantic, um, unending rage until the tree was vanquished. Like, that was George Washington's nemesis. Not, not any of the, the British soldiers. No, 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 no. It was cherry trees. He simply, he simply, it was like a bull staring at a red cape, and they had to be destroyed. Otherwise... He would not, he would not cease his rage. He would not be able to make presidential decisions until all cherry trees were removed from the vicinity. Um, but he had to be the one to do it, right? He had to be the one to, to remove them from existence. So anyway, he would be proud of me, but also like kind of seething with rage seeing this forest. So he wouldn't want to live here uh, at all because it'd be like, holy frick, dude, there's too much cherry happening here. Anyway, we're, we're re-racking our trees. Yes, exactly. I'm participating in the American education system by teaching everybody big, big history. Real big history going on here. You best believe it. Hello, rabbits. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, this is, you know what? This is a, this is a house location, if I've ever seen one. Like, right here on this little, this little plateau. We are going to... We're going to flatten this little plateau out here. And then we're going to have the view of the pillager outpost on, like, one side. And then we're going to have, like... We're going to probably have to chop down that tree and stuff like that. But, man, this is a place... This is a place to be. You know what? I can't die now. It's actually illegal to achieve this serenity and then die. So... I gotta, this is my, this is my house. This is my world. I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to go and rewatch my snapshot video on the introduction of the Cherry Forest Farm so I can remember what I did with the house. Because it was a nice house and I kind of want to remake it here. It's very small, so I'm gonna have to, like, make it a little big, bigger. But it was, it was a, it's a pretty slick little looking house, you know? Uh, right. Let's, yeah, we just seal that up. I don't know if that's actually a cave that leads anywhere. Probably not. Probably not, but maybe it does. Like spirals around and then goes. This is the craziest cave. Does it actually go somewhere? No, it doesn't. Okay. Man, <laughs> windy staircase, naturally generated. By the way, all right. Well, you know what? On this note, so this is a good time for me to wind down because it gives me an opportunity to go and refresh my memory on um, what I did for that house. And then in the next episode, we will be able to resume with a beautiful home location. I swear to God, dude, if I build the house and then just immediately go and die at <laughs> the pillager outpost. Oh, God, that'll be funny. That'll be really funny. At least we will have gotten a building tutorial. Um, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to episode one of Minecraft 1.20. Hardcore Quadrinity Landmass. Um, subscribe to stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.